After a big storm, you might have some cleanup to do on your property. A chainsaw will get the job done. The first thing to decide, do you want a gas-powered chainsaw or an electric? If you're cutting branches just a few times a year, then an electric chainsaw is a good choice. Electric chainsaws are lightweight and most cost less than gas chainsaws. And they're easy to start. Just plug it in, pull the trigger. But there are drawbacks. This cord keeps you tethered to a power outlet. And you'll need a heavy-duty cord, not your standard extension cord. And some electric saws are slow. For bigger jobs, like cutting down trees, a gas-powered chainsaw is a better choice. Gasoline chainsaws are more aggressive than electrics. That's because the chain spins faster and gets the job done sooner. But there are trade-offs. Gas saws are typically heavier, noisier, and they need more maintenance. And starting the engine usually requires several yanks. A third option, battery-powered saws but they're slow and have limited runtime. In our test, they can only make a few cuts on a single charge. Once you pick the right type of chainsaw for your job, you'll want to know how it handles. Vibration can be a real issue with a chainsaw. Uh, too much vibration can make it really tiring. So we measure vibration with a meter, and there can be very big differences. We also consider the weight of the saw and how well it's balanced. Convenience is another thing to consider. We check how easy each saw is to use. The first thing is how easy it is to fill the fluids, the gasoline and the chain and bar oil. Each of those have small uh, openings. Some are smaller than others and more difficult to get those fluids in. Ease of use also includes tightening the chain. You're going to need to tighten the chain about every 15 minutes because it gets loose as you're cutting. Some come with a nice feature, that is you don't need a tool in order to tighten the chain. And you're good to go. And finally, safety. Chainsaws are associated with about 30,000 injuries per year. To stay safe, there are some things you should know. Kickback is a major concern. Kickback occurs when the tip of the saw contacts the wood and it lurches back at you. We found in our testing that some of them kick back more than others. Chain brakes are also a very important safety feature. If the saw kicks back, it will instantly shut off the chain. You also can shut off that chain by simply moving your left hand forward. All of the gasoline saws we tested have this brake, but only some of the electrics like this one have it. And don't forget safety gear, including heavy boots, protective chaps, gloves, and hearing protection. We like these helmets that have built-in hearing protection plus the face protection. Figure on about $100 to $150 for the gear. Check our ratings for the chainsaw that's best and safest for your outdoor job.